everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and with Halloween right around the corner, I thought it was time to do some pumpkins. The pumpkin I'm doing today is this one, and I've washed it up, cleaned it up, and we're going to turn him, it, into Frankenstein. To turn him into Frankenstein, we're going to have to paint him. And I'm painting, I'm not very good at carving, so most of the stuff that you're going to see from me is painting because... I grew up not carving pumpkins. We always painted our pumpkins, and so I'm not the best person to show you how to carve a pumpkin. So anyhow, I have this green, and it's Christmas green paint, and it's a very dark green, and I'm going to do one layer of that, and then the next layer, we'll see how the color turns out on here. I'll mix this with some white, and we will kind of come up with the, a good Frankenstein color. So I'm going to paint that real quick and then we'll be back. The first layer is dry so now we're going to do another layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a pretty good amount of paint on here because I don't want to run out halfway through and I've got the green but I'm going to throw a little bit of white in there also. Kind of mix it up and if it's streaky that's okay. It's any way you want it to be. Alright so all I'm going to do is kind of go over everything again and then we'll let it dry. Okay, we're back and he's all painted. And now we're going to work on the rest of him. And the first thing we're going to do is his hair, his hairline. And what I'm going to do is take a Sharpie and I'm going to have to do this facing me because there's no way I can do it um, if I were facing you. If I tried to do it this way, I'm just not that good and I'm not that good anyway. So I'm going to do that. What you want to remember is that he kind of has a square hairline and head. So we're going to do the best that we can. Again, it's not perfect. It's just the way it is. I'm going to kind of give him a jagged, whoops, no, that's not good. A jagged hairline. All right, just to kind of give me a guide. All right, so all I'm going to do now is just take black paint and fill in as much as I think I need to as I go along I'll kind of get a feel for it and then we'll be back and that sharpie line gives me a good good place to stop so here it is so far and now we need to do the eyes the brow um, the nose the mouth and some scars and then the bolts but the bolts will leave till the end um, we're gonna do the eyes next and so all I'm gonna do is take some white and I'm going to make some circles. Alright, I'm going to make the eyes kind of right down. I don't know if I can do this better for you. Right down in the middle of the pumpkin. And I'm going to make them like half circles. And he doesn't have really big eyes. He's kind of got like beady eyes, but this is how we're going to do this. Okay, now we have that and what we're going to do is kind of give them heavier eyelids. For this I'm going to use just the plain green to kind of give them a heavier eyelid. And I'm going to run and kind of, oops, the brush is a little bit wet. I'm going to go across and kind of do the same thing but over. Okay, and this is how he's looking so far. We need to add a nose, a brow, and the, the eyeballs will add once we got everything dry. And all I'm going to do is a brow, and I'm going to have to point this toward me so that I can do this a little bit better. Now I'm going to do a nose, and I'm kind of making that a little bit more on the square side. And then I will do the mouth. Then I will do the eyeballs, and actually maybe I'll do a scar right now. And all that is is a line with a couple lines, three or four lines through it. So here he is almost done, and he's just missing two main things, and those are the bolts out of his neck. So that's what we're going to work on next. All right, we are back with the last part, and all I'm using is Sculpey Oven Bake Clay. And I'm going to make the bolts out of that, and it's silver. You could, you could even go buy real bolts and do it too. Alright, so I'm going to take half for one bolt and half for the other. 
So I gotta just condition it, which means I just need to squish it around a while and get it to be the right softness so I can work with it. Alright, and when I have it soft enough, I want to break off a piece and roll it into a ball. Then I'm going to kind of squish it flat and kind of with my fingers make it look bolt-like. So here we are. And then the rest of it I'm going to take and kind of just make like a cylinder out of it. And that would be one bolt. So I'm going to do the same with the other. What I'm going to do is you can bake the separate and then glue it after and that would be perfectly fine. I am going to, since I happen to have the Sculpey liquid clay, I'm going to put a little on there and the two will then bake together and kind of glue together. But you absolutely don't need that. I am back to finish the Frankenstein pumpkin and here are the bolts out in the oven so they're nice and hard and then all I have to do is stick them under each side. And they can sit there like this or you can glue them on. Um, but if you don't glue them on, you can use them next year if you wanted to do it again. I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Stop by my website for all the directions for this and all my other crafts. And we will see you next time. Happy Halloween and happy crafting. I want to know, since it's Halloween and we made Frankenstein, I want to know what the scariest character was for you. If it was like Dracula or Frankenstein or some other character or just like a generic character. So let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time guys. Thanks for watching.